Hey guys, it's Mishka. If you miss these videos, I'm going to link them in the description box below. And if you do not want to miss any of my uh, my upcoming videos, just turn on your post notification and subscribe to my channel. Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, I'm just going to show you guys how I label the, my products. I'll be labeling new products and showing you the new labels. Okay, so now we're doing the labels for the deep conditioner and this is how they look. As I said before, all my labels now are going to be white. Um, I'm not sure if the 5 Oil Fusion will be white, but we'll see. But this is the label for the deep conditioner. It just has a touch of color in the middle. So those are what we're going to label now. I have a few of them to label right over here um let me turn up the brightness on this yeah so this is the shampoo i'm gonna be labeling that as well yeah and the, the same jar for the moisturizer is the same jar for the deep conditioner i will be upgrading the size of the deep conditioner as soon as these jars are finished um, I'll be changing the size because I don't know what I was thinking. I did not remember that I rather deep conditioners in a larger jar because we all have so much natural hair on our heads. Yeah, so I'm gonna be um, making a bigger size. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a bigger size in the moisturizer. I'm not sure as yet. It depends on what the public is saying or the customers are saying yeah so as i said before i cut out all my labels with a scissors because the little machine that i got from amazon that really sucks it doesn't it's hard to use and i i just figured i'll just use some scissors hey guys if you got this far in the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up up now um if you guys have any questions i would uh, appreciate you leaving them in the comments below i would definitely answer them and if you have any tips um on labeling you can also leave them in the comments below i am willing to accept any suggestions that you guys give so what i have learned from um labeling what i've learned from doing my research since before starting the business is that it's best to label your products label the jars after you have put in the product into the container and that is so because if you label it first sometimes the label is going to get messy and then you'll probably have to throw out that label that was on the container so I, I label my products after they have been filled and then before I label it also I ensure that I clean the container to get off any residues from when I was filling the product itself. Yes, I make sure I just clean it so the labeling part can be as sleek and clean as possible. Okay, so before I finish labeling all my deep conditioners, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you guys the labels for my shampoo. Uh, my shampoos, these, this is the creamy green tea and African black soap shampoo. Um, it is handmade, pure, natural, organic African black soap shampoo. And this is how I created the labels. These labels are pretty much bigger than all the rest of the labels. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I label these. This is the bottle. I'm just going to quickly show you how I label it because um, Ella is sleeping right now and I need to get as much done as possible. So I'm just going to quickly show you like two, two of them or whatever. Um, and I also did this on um, the sticky paper. All my labels I do on the sticky um, paper. It's literally like, what do you call those? 
um, it's the same paper that they used to make stickers, literally. And I found it on Amazon. And they are so nice. I love it. Inexpensive. I mean, I don't know if it's inexpensive or it's not. I feel like it's probably a, a little bit inexpensive because I paid like $8 for only like 21 sheets of paper. So I'm not I'm not sure. But the only reason why I say I'm not sure if it's in um it's expensive or inexpensive is because you can literally get like a lot of labels on one sheet of paper except for the shampoos because they're so wide so i mean i like it the price is fine for now until they realize that you have like a hundred orders per day <laughs> you have to speak positivity into anything that you're doing so uh, it might sound funny that i'm saying a hundred orders a day but you speak positivity and those exact positive things that you're saying it will definitely come true for you one day so that is what i'm doing so if i have like a hundred orders a day then you know i'm gonna like stop doing my labels myself because i won't be able to handle all of that and i will just pay somebody to do it these i could literally pay somebody to do these but because i'm like i'm already printing the rest of stuff and it's literally just a touch of color and white uh i just went ahead and print them myself yeah because i'm not here i'm not yet up there up there but you know we gotta work towards it we have to push ourselves every day even when things are rough even when you, you ain't got no sales you still have to keep going you know everything that you're working for doesn't come overnight comment below and let me know how you are loving the new labels um yeah let me know how you're loving them because the moisturizer was like a rich pink before but because i print the labels at home i had to switch it out to white because white is less expensive to print at home yeah so let me know how you're loving the labels and don't forget if you guys are interested in the products um and you want a bigger discount 20 percent, you just follow us on instagram at june rose curls follow us and dm us immediately for your discount and we will send that to you to show our appreciation so yeah if you're interested everything will be linked in the description box below hey girl <laughs> okay so this is the end of the video these are all the products that i was able to label i think only one didn't get a label and i'm gonna print that one um yeah but this is how the shampoo is looking this is the shampoo nicely labeled i labeled it the best that i could well, this is how it looks. It is a 8 ounce bottle and a little bit goes a long way because it is creamy and rich. Yes, yeah, so it lasts a long time even though it's an 8 ounce bottle. So that's the um, shampoo. It's called Creamy Green African Black Soap. Creamy Green Tea African Black Soap Shampoo. And of course, I changed the labels for the moisturizer. And this is how it looks. Oh. Eh. yeah this is how the moisturizer looks looks really nice um i put yellow a little touch of yellow on this label so that's how you differentiate them the moisturizer has a little touch of yellow i'm coming bubble and the deep conditioner has a little touch of um what do you call this like a blush pink 
yeah so this is how it looks hopefully you guys are seeing it nicely yeah i'm in love with the labels that i created super inexpensive um I, as i said before i will be getting bigger jars for the deep conditioner and maybe i will get bigger jars for the moisturizer i'm not sure as well and this is the labeling for the five oil fusion you guys already know this label i paid to get this done so I'm not sure if I'm gonna change it to white maybe I change it to white and then add a touch of the the brown coffee looking color yeah maybe I'll do that but yeah and this is how it looks I, I feel like I love everything um everything looks neat I just have to perfect my cutting yeah, so if you guys are interested in this type of content, entrepreneur content, you can always subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notification, and if you're interested in natural hair products, you can always try out our products. I'll leave everything linked below. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below, and if you're interested in any type of other videos, leave them in the comments below and tell me what you think about my labeling how does it look do they look good yeah so ella is fussy because she needs my attention anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye